were ready to solve unknown challenges and answer questions no one has thought of yet. Winning the Marshalls is huge. Uh, there's, no, there's no beating around that bush. Our best students consistently compete with the best students everywhere, and I think Phil is just sort of the ultimate example of that. Experiential learning is really important because it just re-inspires you, it gives you a purpose. For incoming freshmen, the academies is a great place for you to feel comfortable. I've found multiple internships through the academies. I've done a ton of service work. I'm getting out into the city of Buffalo. We have more than 10 million households that face food insecurity. So what we're doing in the lab here is working in every census region of the United States to build up the food system. Interdisciplinary research is particularly important right now because a lot of the great science and technology that is unknown to us today lies at the interstices between known disciplines. We have these special kind of water balloons that we put drugs on the inside. When they get to the tumor site, if a laser is applied, they're gonna pop open and deposit the drug at the tumor. Now in the scholarships, there are literally millions of dollars out there just floating around for you guys to go get. Today we are here to announce a prestigious $25 million grant from the National Science Foundation to establish a science and technology center in Buffalo. When we put the shovel in the ground today, that was a shovel towards the new future for Buffalo. With this leadership, with this energy, there's no stopping what Buffalo can do. This is our 14th Give Kids a Smile Day, and this year we have probably 700 kids coming in. What we're doing is we're reaching out to the underserved and the underprivileged and those who do not have access to care. I don't know everything, but UB knows something about everything, and they have people to help, and that's what we need in our backyard. I gratefully accept this honor not so much for myself, but for the many talented, visionary, and hardworking people at Brock and at UB who have taken both our universities on its current path. The Oakland Raiders select Khalil Mack, linebacker, Buffalo. I think this university is world class. It's got great students, great faculty, great researchers. If you take a look at the graduates of this university, they're distinguished in so many different fields and I'm very, very proud. Good morning. It is truly an amazing time to be at UB. Clearly, we have been very busy. And I know this continues to be a very busy time for all of us. So I thank you for taking time to join me for the third annual State of the University Address. It is wonderful to see so many faculty, staff, students with us today, along with many members of our larger communities, including Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, SUNY Trustee Ms. Eunice Lewin, members of the UB Council, members of the UB Foundation, and many UB alumni and friends 
including Dr. Carol Gloff, President of the UB Alumni Association, and other members of the Alumni Board. Members of numerous deans, advisory council, including the entire School of Management Dean's Advisory Council, and our regional, civic, health science, and business partners. It is sometimes hard to believe that I have been president for more than three years now, and that 10 years ago, I came to Buffalo as the UB's provost. Reflecting back, I'm proud at what we have achieved together in just this short time. When I came to UB in 2004, I saw a very fine institution with a solid foundation and great potential. But today, I see a remarkable institution, a world-class university taking its right place alongside some of the best research universities anywhere. Truly, UB has transformed and continues to transform. And that is because of all of you, our staff, faculty, and students, alumni, university friends, and partners in the community. Recently, we had an opportunity to reflect back on this decades of progress as part of our university's 10-year accreditation review. It may take a whole village to raise a child but it takes the entire university community to prepare for undertaking like this. For more than two years, hundreds of our faculty, staff, and students continue, contributed their energy, expertise, and insight to this effort. Throughout this process, one theme consistently emerged, that the past decade has been a period of great institutional transformation. We have made great strides forward, even in an era of significant budget constraints and other national challenges for higher education. And I think we all can draw as inspiration from our success and from the visible impact it is having. We have set an ambitious course for ourselves we have accomplished a great deal, and we have much more yet to achieve. Every day, we are realizing the fruits of UB 2020, and we are using this momentum as a springboard to launch our vision forward. Over the past few years, we have been implementing a well-honed strategy for leveraging and enhancing our distinctiveness. Because of you, we are a leading national research university with a global reputation. This is not just a vision, it is our reality, and we live it every day. We are a great university, but great universities don't stand still. Every day we must set our sights higher for the sake of our students, our communities, and the world around us. That is the heart of our mission as a public research university. It is the guiding principle that has driven UB 2020 from the very beginning. And it drives all of our work now as we continue to realize our aspirations. It is why we are designing a comprehensive general education program that will prepare our students to be thoughtful, globally-minded leaders. It is why we are defining interdisciplinary communities of excellence to maximize our scholarly capacity to tackle the great questions and challenges of the 21st century. It is why we are building on our long tradition of excellence in the arts, humanities, and social justice. It is why we are launching vast new research initiatives that harness the life-changing discoveries of our faculty and translates them into powerful impact. From a pioneering genomic research center to breakthrough in structural biology, building on the work of Nobel laureate Harb Hartman, to new advances in women's health that are changing the face of medical care. With all our successes, 
I still think it is essential to stop periodically and ask, are we still on course? Are we staying true to our mission while exploring new directions? We must ask, have we positioned ourselves to embrace new opportunities as they arise and to create our own new opportunities? Let me begin to answer these questions by providing a few proof points. When registering for this event, several of you asked about hiring and the research enterprise, so I shall start there. This past academic year, we hired 110 new faculty and 157 new staff who provide critical support to our academic enterprise. Our total research funding, including all sources, is now at all-time high of 388 million annually. UB's faculty research productivity is well above the national public research university's average. Our faculty and staff continue to earn international acclaim for their work. In just the past few months, they have received major honors from NSF Career Awards, to Guggenheim and Fulbright Fellowships. They have been elected as fellows of the most prestigious scholarly association in their fields, including AAAS, the APA, and the American Academy of Nursing. In the past five years, UB has had the lion's share of all new appointments to the SUNY Distinguished Ranks, the highest faculty rank accorded by the system. Just last week, we honored some of our outstanding faculty and staff and their vital contributions to an annual fall celebration of academic excellence. And I see many of you are here today. We know that the world's best faculty attract the world's best students. And this year, we have seen record enrollment. We are recruiting more of the very best undergraduate, graduate, and professional students across our state, region, and the world. These are intellectually passionate, motivated students who know they want to use their talent to make a difference in the world. And they come to UB because they know they will find opportunities here that will change them to do just that through the very best of their abilities. UB provides students with distinctive opportunities, including hands-on experience in clinical and research setting, working directly with the world-class faculty. Through your vision and hard work, we have implemented several initiatives to bring the research enterprise closer to our undergraduate students. These include discovery seminars, the academies, the Honors College, and expanded opportunities to gain valuable global experience. So how do we know our investments in the undergraduate experience are working? The most important indication is what our students are achieving. I'm constantly amazed when I talk to our students about what they have gained from these programs. They're taking these opportunities and parlaying them into the kind of experiences you might expect to find on the CVs of graduate students or even faculty members. Like some of our mechanical engineering students who have had the chance to test their designs in NASA's near zero gravity facilities. On the environmental sciences students who spend their winter break helping to restore wetlands on the Louisiana coast. Are the anthropology and biomedical students who led a health and human services delegation to Honduras. And increasingly, their work is attracting international acclaim. More and more students are competing for major national and international awards, such as Marshall, Fulbright, and NSF fellowships. Everywhere I go, I like to tell people that we have some of the world's best students at UB. And that's because 
of the active learning environment you have created. I proudly note that UB's graduation rates are among the highest in the nation among public universities, and that is because of the exceptional program we provide our students. Some of you asked about student support and success, and I want to mention some of the significant investment we have made in this regard. A prime example is Finish in Four program, through which faculty and academic advisors work with the students to ensure they graduate on time. And by the way, Finish in Four program is national leader and leader in SUNY system. Our staff provide exceptional support for our students, and we have seen visible outcomes. Still too early to assess graduation rates resulting from a program that just began two years ago. But within the two cohorts, first two cohorts, we are already seeing significant impact, significant impact in the form of higher GPA, better academic standing, and improved freshman retention and students are participating in record number. This is a credit to everyone involved, from staff in the financial aid and registrar's offices, to IT, libraries, and student support. As you know, some of the most visible transformations taking place at UB are the great changes to our physical environment. We continue to make major investments in our educational and research facilities and in the infrastructure that support our three campuses, north, south, and downtown. We have opened six new state-of-the-art buildings on our three campus centers in the past three years. We are moving forward with longer-term restoration of our historic south campus to reclaim the original vision laid, but laid out by E.V. Grain. And downtown, cranes are in the air, and as we build a new home for the medical school, which will be part of a world-class academic health center anchoring the Buffalo Niagara Medical Center. Collectively, all this progress has an impact far beyond our campus borders. We are not just transforming our university. We are transforming our larger communities regionally and globally. That is why Engaging more deeply with our communities, near and far, is a key priority. And every day we see the impact of this engagement. For instance, some of you asked about how UB is partnering with Buffalo's K-12 through schools to improve educational outcomes in our region. One powerful example is the impact of the interdisciplinary science and engineering program over the past decade. UB partnering with the Buffalo Public Schools, Buffalo State College, and other organizations is transforming science education throughout the district. Local educators, parents, and students remark that as a result of this program, our region's young people are getting excited about science, both as a discipline and as a potential career path. Our alumni near and far are also watching very closely what's happening at UB and in Buffalo. Our Beijing graduates tell me that st they start their day by reading Buffalo News. And at our Larkinville event this September, our Buffalo alumni were buzzing with excitement about what is happening in our great city and about the leading role UB is taking in the region's transformation. Here in Buffalo, across the country and around the world, our alumni and friends want to become more engaged and connected to what's happening at UB. They want us to bring more of our grads to their businesses, and they are doing just that. These are all important measures that tell us we are on the right track. I'm pleased to say that this year we have created an annual progress report. This report highlights some of the exciting discoveries, contributions, and accomplishments our university community has made over the past year, 
you're going to get a copy of this report today. And as you already know, it's our people who bring these facts and figures to life. Our federal research expenditures are impressive. But what really brings this home are stories that paint the picture of how our faculty and graduate students are using the grant support to do things like build an underwater internet that will transform the way we communicate and develop pioneering therapies that will change the way we treat cancer. Our students' growing list of major national awards is impressive in itself. But to understand their full significance, you need to know what our students are doing with this support, like launching an international block to raise awareness of human rights issues, or sending a new Mars rover into outer space. Stories like these highlight the impact of our university. And I believe very strongly that our impact is the very best measure of our excellence. This is how we know we are achieving our mission to the fullest. The proof is that our faculty, staff, and students are changing our world for the better every day. As one shining example of this impact, just look at the changes taking place in our own city of Buffalo. This is an exciting time to be in Buffalo, Niagara. I believe UB is a big part of the reason why. Right now in Western New York, we are seeing many spheres coming into alignment. Progress is moving forward in many major sectors including healthcare and life sciences, advanced manufacturing, arts and culture, and information technology. This progress is focusing national attention on the university, Buffalo, and our region. None of this happened by chance. Our UB 2020 vision has positioned our university and our region at the forefront of the major national trends in the healthcare, the arts, and business and industry. The result, when great opportunities arise, like the creation of the Regional Economic Council and Buffalo Billion, Western New York is able to hit the ground running. As one key outcome, our students and graduates are finding great professional opportunities right here in our region. Let me give you just a few examples of what I mean. Earlier I mentioned our medical school building, which will propel UB to the forefront of medical education, patient care, and translational research. It is already creating tremendous opportunities for our students and our graduates, our faculty in our region. The area of genomic research and personalized medicine is another prime example of how our strategic vision has positioned UB and Buffalo to seize incredible opportunities. Last spring, Governor Cuomo announced a transformative investment creating the new Buffalo Institute for Genomics. This UB Institute has the potential to revolutionize the treatment of serious disease including cancer, diabetes, and MS. And the leadership of, of, of our faculty and graduates put our university and our region at the vanguard of this critical field. Another key example is our progress in the area of materials informatics and advanced manufacturing. This field has wide applications from national security to creating replacements of the depleted natural resources. UB's considerable faculty strength in this area and our supercomputing resources are positioning our region as a national leader in this field. UB is also pleased to take a leadership role as part of Governor's Startup New York program. This program has significant connections to our academic enterprise, from new internship and entrepreneurship opportunities for our students 
to more jobs that attract global talent to our region and create new professional avenues for our graduates, new pathways for our faculty to lend their expertise to industrial research and development, and new partnerships emerging as these companies tap into UB resources like the Center for Entrepreneurial Leadership in the School of Management. Great cities have thriving arts and culture scenes, and Buffalo is nationally known as leading arts destination. Again, UB's role as a cultural magnet is a big part of this. Our renowned faculty in the visual and performing arts draw attention to Buffalo as a major hub for the arts. And our students and recent graduates in the arts are also making a name for themselves from hall walls to broadways. What I've tried to do today is paint a picture in broad strokes of the progress we are making across the university and the many ways it is transforming our communities locally and globally. This is not to say we don't have our challenges. We do, like every university in the nation. Public investment in higher education continues to dwindle. At the same time, public higher education is asked to do more and more. With this disinvestment in higher education, we are challenged to find resources we need to address an aging infrastructure on our north and south campuses, to support our ambitious faculty hiring goals, and to provide more scholarship for our students in need. Despite this strain in, on our resources, we continue to bring more of the best faculty and students to UB. This is tremendously important and it is a key contributor to our growing stature. At the same time, this has given rise to a new challenge. As we go better and better, we are increasingly competing with the world's best institutions for those outstanding faculty and the students. This makes it imperative that we continue to enhance the distinctive strength that set us apart from other great universities. Finally, even as we explore new avenues for distinguishing ourselves and expanding our impact, we must do so in a way that is consistent with our academic mission. We must balance new expectations of our economic and societal impact while staying true to our core mandate. We will always face challenges. That is simply a fact of life, even for the very best universities. And we will overcome these challenges just as we always have. That is what great universities do. We acknowledge and confront obstacles head on. We draw on our distinctive strengths to overcome them. We position ourselves to be even stronger and more nimble in the future. And to sustain our upward trajectory, we must continually demonstrate the value of public higher education to all of our constituencies. As I said earlier, I'm a firm believer that great universities don't stand still. So we must our, ask ourselves, what do we need to do to become even better? For sake of our students, our faculty, our communities, and our world. How should we direct our next steps? Where do we envision this path, that path leading us? And how do we ensure it is fully aligned with our mission? Our university community is actively addressing exactly these questions right now. For example, many of you are engaged in re-examining the general education curriculum with a focus on experiential learning and global perspective. This is a massive undertaking involving the work of hundreds of faculty, staff, and students. With this new curriculum, once again, we are actively bringing our students' liberal arts education closer to the research enterprise. We will be connecting the Gen Ed curriculum with our five big research themes, humanity, justice, 
innovation, environment, and health in order to encourage our students to look at the world and its challenges through a multidisciplinary lens. We believe this will prepare our students to be active drivers in knowledge creation, to break grounds into uncharted territory. Our students will be next generation of global leaders shaping the futures of their fields. Our students right now are already expanding our understanding of indigenous cultures, prehistoric life, and the cosmos. Just imagine what new frontiers the world will know in the future because of their explorations of the unknown. We are taking multidisciplinary research paradigm that began with the strategic strength and launching it into the next level through the development of communities of excellence. These are multidisciplinary scholarly communities focused on large scale societal challenges. Last year, we introduced Renew as a model for these communities in the area of energy and the environment. Over the past year, our faculty and staff across the disciplines have been engaged in developing proposals for other innovative high impact scholarly communities. It is so exciting is that our faculty are already defining new genres of music, engineering the world's safest bridges, and shaping educational policies nationally and abroad. Just imagine what UB can do when we enhance our scholarly framework to catapult the research and creativity to the next level. We have been pushing steadily in this direction for the past decade. And now we are on the brink of fully realizing our most ambitious aspirations for our university. We are on the brink of new future for our region as UB plays a vital role in Buffalo's resurgence. We will make Buffalo a national model for how to transform the Rust Belt region into a vibrant world-class destination. We are on the brink of developing life-saving cures for some of the world's most critical healthcare challenges. We will revolutionize treatment for the most insidious disease. We are on the brink of realizing real change in our nation's schools through our faculty leadership in the area of bullying and school violence. We will ensure that every student can go to school ready to learn and thrive in a safe, non-threatening environment. We are on the brink of major progress in mitigating climate change by changing how we use energy and precious natural resources. We will build a more sustainable future for our globe. And this is just the beginning. A decade ago, we imagined a new future for UB as a world-class research university at the heart of revitalized Buffalo and at the forefront of discovery, creativity, and innovation worldwide. Now we have arrived at that future. But let's not stop there. Together, we must always be envisioning where we want to be a decade from now and a generation from now. This is truly an exciting time at UB. You are what makes the University at Buffalo a great university for the 21st century. My thanks to all of you.